All right, so Arthur on YouTube asks, hi guys, thank you so much for providing so much useful information in your website and on YouTube. It was really overwhelming to plan a trip to New Zealand without your help. If you don't mind, I would like to ask a question. Between spring and autumn, which season will allow us to see more animals and flowers with good weather? All right, so obviously this is a question that we get quite often. Uh, Laura, do you want to get us started on why people are usually targeting spring and autumn in New Zealand? Yeah, so one of the main reasons is because this is actually what the shoulder seasons in New Zealand, meaning that it's a little less busy with tourists. Obviously, people coming to New Zealand want to be here mainly in summer when it's like the hottest, warmest weather possible. But yeah, in the spring and autumn, it's actually a really good time to travel in New Zealand so that you're not, you know, not surrounded by tourists all the times. But also as, um, as Arthur asked as well, it is also a really good time for seeing wildlife in New Zealand as well. Yeah. So um, spring and autumn both offer amazing fauna, flora, landscape, and, and it's kind of hard to decide which one is best. So what we decided to do for you, Arthur, is that we basically wrote like what we like the most in like spring and autumn then and what are basically the selling point for spring and autumn. And it's gonna be up to you to decide which one like you know which sales pitch uh, sales pitch is the best for you. Um, so I think it's gonna be the best way to do it. So I'm gonna start talking about spring and then Laura will talk to you about autumn. And then basically you're gonna to have to decide between me or Laura. You <laughs> see, you're gonna pick me, right? Anyway, let's get started. So for spring, spring is September, November, in this and December in New Zealand. Now one of the uh, number one thing to do in spring is to head to Lake Tekapo where you see those lupin flowers. They are those like purple flowers which are kind of triangular shape and you can take all those pictures. If you don't know what they are, just go on Instagram. You <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the number one picture yeah. of New Zealand on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, absolutely crazy. So around Lake Tekapo. So there are great, there is great vegetation to be quite nice all around, uh, all year round uh, in New Zealand. But if you head to Rotorua in springs, you will find that all the bush and all those, uh, those uh, you know, nature bush and everything are really lush and they're really kind of like spring into life. Well, because it's spring. Um, so yes, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you're really into flowers, since you've been mentioning that quite a lot, you can head to the Hamilton Gardens. We do have an episode about the Hamilton Garden that, that you can check on this channel. So really nice videos there. And uh, the garden is obviously completely changing um, uh, in spring and everything is blossoming and in bloom and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, another great place to visit in spring because you mentioned that you wanted to see some wildlife as well is Kaikura. So spring is obviously a great season for animals. Um, so there is heaps of wildlife, but on top of that, there is something called Sea Fest in Kaikura, which is happening in October, where everybody dress up as fishes. Um, there are musics and costumes and all of that around, so it's quite cool to do that in spring. And finally, if you are into white water rafting, I know you didn't mention that whatsoever in your question, but you should be because we <laughs> love that. Um, in spring is when all the snow melts and then it just rush down the river. That's when you have the biggest rapids and the biggest white rafting to do and therefore we suggest you to head toward Rangitata which is on the South Island so it's Rangitata for some of the best white watch rafting all year round all around New Zealand head down there it's pretty epic so that would be my sales pitch for you to choose spring Laura is going to give you her sales pitch okay. for autumn so autumn in New Zealand is between the months of March and May and um, yeah so really obviously if you want to see some different sort of um, you know landscape uh, in autumn you're going to see some more autumn colours in areas like Wanaka um, and but bear in mind that a lot of the native vegetation in New Zealand is actually green all year round so that sort of autumn colours is only where they've got some sort of um, plantations of more exotic trees like in Wanaka so Wanaka is a really cool place to go if you want to see some of those autumn colors and um, also autumn is the wine making season in New Zealand and New Zealand does have plenty of wine regions including Hawke's Bay 
Ed Hogs Bay actually does have that sort of landscape which changes colour over autumn as well, so you could combine those two things. Um, and yeah, around the Canterbury region as well, there's a lot of um, activity from birds. Um, obviously, yeah, in autumn when they're feeding on seeds and stuff like that, that usually happens on um, in, in autumn. Um, another really cool place to go for that change of colour and scenery is in Gisborne in the Eastwood Arboretum. And this is basically a huge collection of international trees. Yeah, I think it's like the largest collection of exotic trees in the Southern Hemisphere, or some, some sort of um, title like that and that's a really awesome place to go and check out the different as well especially birds as well there's a lot of bird wildlife there and really awesome changing colorful trees um, and let's and let's end with Marlborough uh, again another winemaking region in New Zealand so you could go and try some of the freshest wine that they've just made or how, however that is done um, and uh, <laughs> well it, like autumn is the time of the year when yeah, you make wine exactly so, yeah. yeah so I mean if you're a backpacker and you're looking for some um, you know looking for some work it's usually a good time to go and hit the wine regions for work but otherwise there's a lot you of you can watch them do it when the winery yeah. tours during autumn they're actually even more interesting because you see like everything in action rather than just an empty field so yeah. it's, it's quite cool yeah it's really fun um, and also it's a good time to go and do some really popular hikes like uh, in Marlborough the Queen Charlotte track it's like the best time of the year is to go during autumn because the crowds have died down a little bit and yeah it's just a good time to have it like that whole scenery to yourself as you're like one of the limited people doing the track yeah now weather wise the weather is extremely changeable all year round in New Zealand so both weathers are going to be extremely similar let's be honest um, you can definitely check on our website on the every single month and our weather uh, our weather kind of updates for each of them but yeah very 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 similar so um so yes yeah, so that's our take on both so now arthur you're gonna have to tell us um which one you think is the best is it spring or is it, is it autumn and if your name is not arthur you can still pitch in <laughs> is your favorite time to travel new zealand spring or autumn uh, let us know in the comment below and if you do have some questions of your own do it as well in the comment below we're here to help every single week